Hi guys, what I'm going to do is show you a quick video on adding um, a file to, or basically making a file in Sublime and then running the code in Sublime as well. So what we need to do is go to File and New. And just for kicks for now, what we're going to do is we're going to save it. We're going to call it test. Now, one of the cool things about this program is that you can change what the file is. Normally, you'll do that before you save it. As you can see, I saved it as a pie, but just so you know that you can go to view and syntax here, and then you can scroll down. As you can see here, it's already Python, but you can change it to plain text. You can change it to whatever you want. These are all the different formats that you can use in here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put in a little bit of, um, of code. So as you can see here, I got a print statement, and we need to put some brackets. Now, when you're using Python in here, it's really neat because it color codes your stuff, so you can tell when stuff's right and stuff's wrong. Now, if, you're, if this is the first time that you're running a program in it, what you need to do on a Windows computer is hit Control, Shift, and B. And you want to choose Python. And as you can see, it runs the code down here. See how it says Hello World. Now, once you've done that once, you're good to go. All you need to do in the future is hit Control, B, and it'll run it again. Let's just do another one for kicks. And see how it autofills for you too? It's a wonderful little program. Whereas Notepad++, you'd have to type it all. And here you don't. Control B to run it. And there you go. Hello world. And this is cool. Hopefully that helps some of you out a little bit. 